When your plants are dry, then you're ready to mount them on paper. In order to do this, you need to use special archival quality material. This paper is acid-free paper and it will last for hundreds of years and it will not damage the specimen. Likewise, this glue is special for use in herbaria and designed to preserve specimens with and affix them to the paper without damaging it. This glue is pretty thick, you can see. So it probably needs to be thinned with some water, not a lot. It can only be thinned up to 30% with warm water. So if I actually had a specimen, what I would do is add some of this to this cup. I would mix in a little bit of water until it was a smooth consistency, and then I would put the glue all over this so that there was a thin sheet of glue everywhere here. Then I would carefully look at my specimen, make sure that I had which side I wanted to glue and which side I wanted to be up on the sheet, press it down in the glue, make sure I had glue everywhere, move this out of the way, and then very carefully turn the glue side over and position it on the paper and press down very gently. Then I would take the label, which does not have any glue on the back of it, and probably just put it over on the dish, uh, uh, plastic sheet that has all the glue on it, and affix it down here. And you could write on it before, you can write on it after, uh, but I would suggest writing on it before at least the species name so that you know what you have. And the, the information that needs to be on your label is the genus, the species, its popular name or common name. Locality is where you found it. And those directions should be so complete that someone 100 years from now could walk back to the same spot and get the plant. Now, granted, they may bulldoze areas, but that's the idea. Then the date that you collected it, your name, and under remarks, a brief description of the habitat. Is it a wetland? Is it a forest? Is it um, an edge habitat? So that's what goes under remarks. Then take a sheet of wax paper. We have wax paper in the lab. Put that over this, and then you can do your next one and stack them up on top very loosely and allow them to dry. You may want to weight them down very gently with a heavy book just so that all parts of the plant, if it tends to warp a little bit, are in contact with the glue and the paper. And once you're done, you'll have a plant collection to turn in for your plant collection assignment.